Hollywood Magazine, and we're here on the set at the Edge of Salvation with Jonathan uh, Lipnicki, and you actually had your breakout role with Jerry Maguire. Tell us a little bit about that. That was just so epic. Yeah, um, you know, it was it was a really, really great time in my life. You know, it uh, it was timing, meeting preparation, meeting, you know, just a great experience, and it was it was an awesome experience working with such great people as my first job. And I uh, always remember. What inspired you to get into acting? I mean, you were you were pretty young, so. My sister actually, she uh, she done acting classes, and uh, you know, I thought, you know, she's having fun doing them. I thought I might as well try. So, gave it a try, ended up loving it. I told my mom I wanted to audition. Started auditioning, and uh, six months later, I joined the choir. So when you took a little bit of a break, you kind of decided to be a real teenager. Yeah. 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 Do you think that was a good decision? Were you happy with that? Would you recommend that to other child actors? Yes, because you know what, you're only you're only for once, you know. And uh, for me, going to public school, and, uh, being normal, playing water polo in high school, and doing all the normal stuff really, I mean, it gives me a lot as a person. It gives me a lot as an artist to draw from. And I think that's really the best way to go about it. And you know, yeah, I mean, if I kept working, there would be, you know, pro things would probably be a little easier. But you know, I, I love the challenge, and I'm up for it. So. And now you're, you're doing the jiu-jitsu thing, mm -hmm. too, as well. How long have you been doing that? Brazilian jiu-jitsu I've been doing for about four years. Uh, you know, it's, it's crazy because with work, you know, I can only be consistent so much of the time. I recently got my purple belt, okay. and that was uh, probably the biggest accomplishment in my life. And so uh, I, I love it. It's a passion of mine, and I'm going to continue doing that. Another passion of yours um, seems to be philanthropy, and it's surprising to a lot of people at uh, such a young age for you. You're speaking on behalf of the uh, Breast Cancer Research Foundation, you're dealing with juvenile diabetes, um, you know, animal rights and all that wonderful stuff. What got you so fascinated with charity work at such a young age? That's just how I was raised, you know, I have really good parents, and, and they instilled that it's at a young age, you know, I'm so lucky for everything I have. And you know, I, I get to I get to go and live my dream every day. I get to go and, and work in something that I love. And so, you know, if, if I can do anything to help others, you know, I'm gonna do it. And if you weren't acting, what would you be doing right now? <sighs> it's always hard to say, you know, but since I love martial arts so much, probably something with that. Okay. And you know, people are very, very uh, happy with your success and are you happy with your success? What would be uh, your description of success? Uh, you know, success for me is personal happiness, and I'm a very happy person. So, I mean, do I consider myself a successful person? Yes. I mean, am I always striving for more? Yeah. You know, I'm never, I'm never content, and I'm never going to become complacent. Being complacent is my worst fear, and I just want to keep climbing. There's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, Lindsay Lohans. There's a lot of Amanda Bynes. There's a lot of crazy uh, young child actors that are kind of taking maybe a bad turn, according mm -hmm. to some people. What's your advice on how to avoid that? You just turned 21. Yeah. So. Um, you know what? I can't say anything on them because, you know, I, I'm not in their shoes, and you don't know what. You know, besides, of course, being in the entertainment industry, everyone has their all. You know, their own issues. Everyone has their own issues, and I would never want to say anything against either of them because they're both very talented. And for me, I think you know it's really just about staying away from a lot of those, a lot of those things. Um, you know, obviously drugs and maybe the party life. I don't. I mean, I'm just really focused on my career first, and that's the most important thing to me. And I would do anything in the world not to lose that. So I think that you know sometimes you got to have the right people around you. And uh, I've been lucky enough to have really good people around me, good friends and good family. And sometimes you can't choose that. And so I mean. It's, it's just sad to see when that stuff does happen. Well, what is um, what do you see in the future for yourself? If you uh, could do your next project, what would it be? Like if it was just yours, if you had full control over it. I want to be. I mean, like there's a lot of things that I would like to be in play. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'd like to do something with mixed martial arts because that's something I'm very into. Uh, I have a script that I have the right to do about uh, mixed martial arts, and so there's. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. I'm young and I have a lot of ideas and I have a lot of energy so I'm really just gonna throw myself at things that really you know that I really appreciate and uh, we'll, see, we'll see where I end up. 
Is there anything with um, the storyline of The Edge of Salvation that you can relate to? You know, if there's anything I can really relate to in, the, in this movie is that, you know, like I said about, you know, child actors, everybody has their stuff. Everybody has their personal battle. And you don't know what it is, you know, on the surface and you can't judge a book by its cover. And I think that's a big part of Edge of Salvation is everyone has their own issues and it's kind of about how everyone deals with that. And it's very realistic and I think that's what really drew me to it. Well, it looks like you're dealing with everything just fine. So. Thank you. Uh, we're here on the set of The Edge of Salvation with Jonathan Lipnicki and I'm Ginger Michelle with Hollywood Image Magazine. Thanks for watching.